No matter where you are, whatever you have been through. You are a testimony. A testimony to many. God has filled your life with His light. Even though you cannot see it. God has given you a brighter future. A future that many will see the goodness of God in your life. It does not matter what you have been through. You are a testimony. You are supernatural because you are a child of God. Victory and joy is all round your life. Peace and God's goodness is yours because God has made you a testimony. There is a cry. Inside the human's heart to be lifted up out of the humdrum, the ordinary physical existence, to something greater. Something better. A cry for the extraordinary. Christ wants us to get up out of the boat, so that He can do something supernatural in our lives. So when you connect to God, you will be a testimony. As Christians, we need to know who we are in Christ Jesus. The moment you discover yourself in Christ, your value comes back. Your worth comes back. No opinion of man can devalue it. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 makes us to understand that we are special in the sight of God. The Bible says, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of Him, who called you out of darkness, into His wonderful light. You have been raised in rank, character and status, seated with Christ, in the place of authority. You are divinely commissioned, to display the virtues and perfection of divinity. You have the power and excellence of Christ. You overcome limitations, when you speak God's word, and testify of Him. You bring His presence into your situation. You become more than a conqueror. What God said about you, the glorious things, He has spoken about you in His word, are your testimonies. Apostle Paul uses his pain to model his message, in 2 Corinthians 6 verse 4, In everything we do, we show that we are God's servants, by patiently enduring troubles, hardships and difficulties. Your deepest life message will come out of your deepest pain. Your success do not give you credibility, it is your suffering. When you come out of your situation, your life becomes a powerful impact to people's lives. The world does not need to see Christians who are perfect, or have it all together. They need to see something real and authentic, your testimony. In Revelation 12 verse 11, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. Until David gave his testimony of God's deliverance from the bear and lion, he got the greater power to overcome Goliath. So when you testify of God's goodness in your life, you become an overcomer. Do not be silent. Just as deep calls for deep, so as a good testimony provokes a greater one. When God is with you, His presence and power produces signs and wonders in your life. As Christians, we reflect on God's wisdom. We become a testimony. Instead of focusing on our pains, sufferings and struggles, we should testify more of God's love and presence, because He heals every pain, comforts every suffering and brings peace to every struggles. Let your thoughts, words and actions, be a powerful testimony for Jesus. Sometimes, we focus on the things that are going on, in our lives, that we tend to forget that in all these, God only sees greatness in us. He knows how to take your troubles, and turn them into trophies, that will make you a testimony. Believe. That you are a testimony. You need to get up. And say to yourself, I know my God, will make me a message to many. The test that comes my way, is turning into a testimony for my good, I will surely triumph over the trials, I face today, I am a victor and not a victim. 1 Samuel 2 verse 1 says, and Hannah prayed, and said, My heart rejoiceth in the Lord, mine horn is exalted in the Lord, my mouth is enlarged over my enemies, because I rejoice in thy salvation. Hannah was barren for many years, she prayed with a mind of positivity, and God turned her trial into triumph, and gave her a testimony. Child of God, always be positive about any situation you might be passing through. Positive mind produces positive life. 
negative mind produces negative life. Positive thoughts are always full of hope and faith. Negative thoughts are always full of doubt and fear. Whatsoever situation you face today does not mean it will not end. Your situation is only preparing you to your divine testimony. A place of milk and honey. A place of rest and relaxation. God has a special plan for you as a carrier of testimony. Just like Joseph in Bible, who moved from prison to palace. Esther, who moved from being a slave to queen. And Jabez, who moved from being rejected to a cornerstone. In Luke 21 verse 13, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. Jesus assured his disciples that whatsoever they may be going through, it shall be to them for a testimony. Remember, without trials, there will be no testimonies. Without big challenges, there will be no testimonies. Without fire, there will be no gold. Child of God, I want you to know that whatsoever challenges you face is a divine opportunity from God to make you a testimony. You have a golden treasure inside of you. Do not be discouraged, but believe in God. Your trials will soon be turned into testimonies.